Good evening. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. I am going to show you this cool um, fold it card, fun fold card I made today. It is called a large expanding star um, fold card. Um, I got this idea off of Pinterest. Um, this gal um, made this card back in 2019 around Christmas time in 2019 and she uh, gave us all permission to make this card um, of course you can make this card using whatever you want paper card stock but she said or she recommended a thinner paper because you still have to use a, a one of those envelope boxes to mail this because it's pretty thick the time you get done decorating it. So this, when you unfold it, it will turn into a star. And this is a five by seven size, or an A7 size. But you can also make this into an A2 size. So a friend of mine who also makes cards, um, her and I are gonna probably get together. She lives in Florida. I live here in Colorado. We're gonna get together probably, hopefully, via Zoom or or that one thing called st stream StreamYard has a duck, a mallard duck on it, whatever it's called. And we are gonna probably be doing some fun fold cards together via YouTube that way and showing you all how to do some fun cards. Just crafting together and doing some fun stuff. So because her and I like to make some fun folds and all that kind of fun stuff. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how I did this card. And if you do want to, do want me to show you how to make this card, please comment in the comment section and say, me, 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 me. No, <sighs> I'll show you how to make it. So anyways, I will stand it up. And I do recommend also that you use a thinner ribbon. And of course, I made a mistake and put my ribbon on backwards. So as you can see, I did. So it says happy holidays. So I put uh, red, uh, that red mirrored see-through mirrored cardstock because I just think it's so beautiful. And then I put happy holidays on the front because that's all it really needs because you ain't going to see the front when it's opened. So let's stand it up. Okay. And we're going to open it. Okay. Now I'm going to tie it. Okay, so bear with me. Tie, 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 tie. Stay tied. Tight, tight. Okay. Tie it in a bow. Now you can use this card actually as a decoration, as a Christmas decoration if you wanted to. Or you can make one for Halloween and use it as a Halloween decoration. Or whatever you want to do. And look at that. You have a star. You guys all see that? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You have a star, <laughs> a five point star. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna flip this card sideways so you can all see I am standing, although it's painful to stand, but I'm gonna do it so you guys can see. So I'm gonna make sure y'all can see what this card has on the sides and all when I twist it around. Cause we have taken the ovals We've taken ovals and cut out oval holes around each side. So, oh, so can you all see that we got stuff hanging, right? I want to make sure you guys can see that. Yes, you guys can see that. Yay, you can see it. Woohoo. Okay, so I used um, a Recollections Hallelujah Christmas card stock pad. 12 by 12 Christmas cardstock pack um, that I bought last year, a year ago, 
around this time. I actually, I think I bought it right after Christmas because it was on sale. So I just decided to use it. Well, this takes a lot of paper. As you can see, you've got paper inside as well, and then paper on the outside that you have to score on both sides in three places, actually, all around. So here you have the manger scene. You've got baby Jesus with Joseph and Mary, and then, of course, the shepherd boys and the three wise men. So then we're going to flip it around, and then we have another cutout with some hanging. So I used... Uh, I used uh, <laughs> acetate strips to hang some stuff in the holes. And you can use ribbon or twine or whatever you want to use. You can use just about anything. So here we have the town of Bethlehem where he was born. Okay. And so I added some stuff there. And here we have a little shepherd boy hanging the sheep so I cut this out as well these were just extra ephemera pieces that were in the cardstock that I cut out the palm tree and a little dove and then here we have I hung a angel playing the horn the hark the herald angel sing or whatever whatever they're singing Alex or ex I don't know what song it was but anyways I added some extra stars and the moon of course so we just assume he was born at night, but we don't know. So, and then here I added some animals. Of course, I had to hang a camel. Whoops, he's backwards. We don't want to see the red checkered stuff, but there's the camel. And then I added a donkey. And of course, I added the cow, a little diagonal. You guys see that? Yep. Okay, just want to make sure y'all can see that. So. As you can tell, I took my large oval die that I had that was like three and a half inches wide and just cut ovals. So that is the card. And then what you do is, um, what you do is after you, uh, you untie it. <laughs> You can uh, untie it after it's all said and done. And then you can just tuck everybody else back in the holes here. Like so. Well. Well, that one just does not want to stay. And then you can actually tie this. back up and this thing is shedding a lot of glitter there and you've got it all stored up for next year if you want to save it for next year for a Christmas decoration there you have it that is what you call a large expanding star folding card so thank you um, for allowing me to show you this card <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to send this one in the mail. I think I'll probably keep this for myself because I don't have a nativity scene. So this will be mine, I think. So I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a great rest of the evening and I will talk to y'all later. And please like or dislike or like and hit the subscription button and hit the light bulb if there is a light bulb on mine I don't know if there is a light bulb on mine yet because I'm not monetized yet so it might be a while um but anyways uh I will uh talk to y'all later love y'all be blessed and I'll be doing some more videos bye